Hello! In this video I am going to share with you the different ways that you can alter a book page in a five ring binder. Hi, I'm Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. So in my altered book series, I am taking you through step by step how to alter and embellish the pages, how to reinforce the pages, um, what to do if the pages are too fragile to be used, then obviously uh, you would just discard those. So this is a Better Homes and Garden garden book that I am altering. And as you can see that I've already started covering the pages. I covered the inside cover with just book pages, but I am probably going to, I had planned to do a fabric cover on this, but I'm not quite sure yet really what I'm going to do with it, but I'm thinking I, I'm still thinking I'll do a fabric cover, but instead of having it where it would slide on, I'm just going to glue it to the outside cover. So now let me walk you through the different techniques and the different ways that you can embellish a book page when you're altering a book, but specifically for a binder type book where you can actually remove the pages. What I love about this style is that the pages are interactive and can be moved around in your journal. So this is a daily journal that I'm making. It's going to be an actual uh, life journal. So it's going to last me for years and years and years. And the beauty of this is I can take pages out and put them somewhere else and then store them, put them in a separate book, whatever I want to do because I have several binders. So I'm going to just continue to find the Better Homes and Gardens book. I have a cookbook that I don't use, so I might decide to, to do it and where I can expand and continue this life journal project. So the first style I wanted to share with you is when you have the fragile pages, you're going to cover it front and back with the paper. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I will walk you through what I've already done, but I'm also going to show you exactly how to do some of these things. So this page, what I did was I collaged first on the page, and I have a video um, where I do that step by step with you. And then I made the tags, I have several pockets. So there's a pocket here, there's a pocket here, there's another tag here, and then I made a little file folder type of a insert. Make sure I didn't glue it in there. There we go. Okay, so cute little file folder. So there's journaling on the back. I have a pocket there. And then I am taking my own words that I printed out and I share these with my mailing list subscribers. So if you would like to get any of my free monthly digital printables, then you can sign up for my mailing list. You'll find that description and the, um, the link in the description below. So I thought I'm just taking words that I feel like look nice on the page. And these are expressions and sentiments that are very meaningful to me in my life and my values and things of that sort. Okay, so that one I used was honesty. On this page, it's fanciful. And I thought that, that described this page really nicely. These cute little birds page that I did. So I made the bird journals. I stitched those on. And we did this video recently. And there's another pocket here. But because I put this embellishment here, then that kind of hindered me from putting anything in here. I don't want to do anything that's going to mess up that pocket. But I have my two tags, and I can put a, stuff a lot more tags back here if I want to. So that is really nice, and it goes the depth of this. It's really deep. Okay, so that's the first style. So here I covered it with paper, and I to reinforce the page. So the pages are very old. They're probably, like I said, it's probably from the 1950s or 60s, somewhere around there. But they're just, they were so thin. So here again, I reinforced it. So I showed you how to reinforce it. You, the easy way is just to take a piece of paper uh, about one inch on both sides, 
and then just glue it down and then take one of your other pages and use it as a template and use your hole puncher. Then I did a beautiful fabric snippet down both sides on this page. And then this one, it says, if you want to touch the past, touch a rock. And then on this page, I showed you this one. I completed it today. So this page says beauty. I thought that described this pretty good. And I have a little creamer where I love tea parties. And then this tag that I made here, I just did a little cluster with fabric and gathered it and stitched across to there. So I can journal on both sides of this. And I just inked around all the edges. So then this snippet roll, I gathered the fabric and then I put little clusters of, this is like a crochet uh, trim piece and then fibers and then a piece of um, organza type fabric behind that. And then I put the organza on top of it down here. And then this was the flip side, the flip out piece. But what I decided to do is just, I like it the way it is. So I just put, if you want to touch the present, touch a flower. And again, this is on my journaling page. So if you want to get that journaling page, you need to sign up for my mailing list. Okay, now I wanted to show you the completed journaling pages that I did and worked on. So I put the music paper at the top, and then I had my digital papers that I had purchased from an Etsy shop. And I, some of them I double-sided it, but others I did not. But what I just did is I folded the paper in a half, eight and a half by 11. So I had the music paper at the top, glued it so that it would fit the rest of the page. Then when I open it, so now I have all this for journaling. Isn't that nice? When you turn it over, it's the same thing. So I have all this for journaling. So I did, all I did was glue this on top, glue my journal paper, folded it in half. So now I have all of this beautiful journaling. I love it. I think this is a wonderful way to make a journal. So super and so easy. And you're not going to have the, the bulk that you would um, in a regular junk journal or the altar journal. I mean, you can make it where you can keep it, you know, from being the gator mouth, but otherwise this is really nice. I love this. Aren't these pretty? This is such a nice paper. I love this paper. So cheerful, uplifting. It just I will be so happy when I'm journaling in this. So if you noticed, I had the folded side on the side with the lines, but you could do it the other way if you wanted to. It really would not matter. And then the last page, I'm still working on it. So this is another divider page. So this is my first section, and I could just decide if I want to do this with by season or by the month, but I'm thinking I like more of a seasonal type of a life planner, so I thought, you know, that would work out much better. So I may only do four sections with the seasonal, and then I don't know what I'll put in because I have a lot to put in, but look at how this has expanded it already with just these pages that I put in. I haven't counted to see how many I have yet, and you see it's already to the top of the, the, the binder. So just goes to show you what happens when you start adding layers to the pages, it, it immediately starts expanding the journal. So this one I already, I cut, had this paper, I put this on here years ago. So I have my border piece that I put on. Now this snippet roll, I had made this years ago and it's so easy to make. This was made on a paper strip, a cardstock paper strip. So I have a cardstock piece like this and then you just, start adding your layers to the top of this. So this one's not completed yet, but this is just so that you can see. So I just start tearing, like you're doing a collage, but you're just tearing your papers and you're putting it on here and then on layering on top of the cardstock and then book pages and other scrapbook papers and whatever you wanna put. You just layer and layer and layer and then 
when you're all done. So I stitched the papers together and now I can come back and start adding in the fabrics and other pretty elements. So I'm going to do the same thing on the back here is I'm going to make another one of these beautiful collage fabric and paper pieces and I will put that on the back of this book page. So that will complete <coughs> that divider page. And I don't want to close this right now because it's hard for me to open it, but I just wanted to take you through the different styles and the different techniques. And now let me show you how easy it is to cover those. Okay, so here are a few more of the book pages. You can see how patinaed in color they are. This side is much more so than this side. And here I have the reinforced paper on it down each of the sides with the holes. Very, very easy to do. Okay, and then now let me show you how easy it is to apply the journaling paper. And I'm gonna use this as a template to punch the holes. Okay, so I want one with the lines. Now on my printer, it gives us extra white border, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna cut that off first. So I don't know, some you can adjust your printer so that it doesn't do that, but I don't know how to do that on my printer and it's no big deal. So I don't mind trimming it off. <clears throat> and if you need to turn it over, it so you can do that as well but I just like to fold it. it kind of like saves me a little bit but you could either leave it all open one piece and cut it either way whatever you want to do okay so get the scraps out of the way and now you know I love to use Aileen's tacky glue <clears throat> so if you're new to my channel you don't know that <laughs> But once you've watched me, my, a few of my videos, you know, I love Aileen's Tacky Glue. My husband was so kind to help me refill all of the bottles today. And it was a mess, let me tell you. But we had fun. So now every size, this is the one with the narrow tip. So I have it filled. And I have my giant 16 ounce one filled. And then my little one, eight, five ounce one filled. So I love it. Okay, before we... Before we do that one, we're going to do one more step. Okay, so I, I'm going to put the border piece on here first. <clears throat> so what I did is I take my journal page, lay it down, see where, go, take it all the way to the end of the page, and then I'm going to bring it over so that it's lined up with the edges. And if, it, if it, it's okay that it's going over here on the, to the side of the paper, it's not a problem. Okay, so now I have that there, and I'm going to get a clothespin and hold on to it with the clothespin. That's another one of my things that I love to use are the clothespins, but you could use the little clamps or a paper clip, whatever you have handy. Trim this ledger page down. This is just one that I printed myself from my own supplies I made. Okay, so I can decide if I want to come here, which I do. Okay, so. And then I just get a pencil, make a little line a little line then I trim it okay so this side what I like to do is I fold it so that this side is straight and then I take it to the edge of my craft table which I have 
this is wood under here. So I take it to the craft table and then I just rip right on that line. Remove the clothespin, move that to the side. Now, if you want to ink them, I'm gonna ink these all later on, but I, I didn't, I'm not doing that right now. I'm just, my goal first is just to let's get the foundation of each journal page made. So this, the what I'm showing you is the very beginning steps that you want to do at this stage of the game. You wanna get all of your pages and then when I take it to the take it to the far right edge of your page line it up <clears throat> what I like about the tacky glue it gives you some wiggle room where you can move it get it lined up and then I can bring it up there and then I get my paper towel You want to hold on to it because it is still moving. You don't want it to be moving all over the place on you. Okay, so that was step step two. Step one is reinforce the side with the hole. Step two, get your border. I mean, you might have a piece of paper that fits the whole thing, but I cannot print 12 by 12 paper on my printer, so the 8.5 by 11, you have to improvise and the improvise vision is that you have to put a border on the top okay so that part is done all day long i've been getting glue all over me i mean it's like ever since we filled up the thing it's like it's been just inevitable i mean glue 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 i had glue over here i have i've had glue everywhere today so it's just <laughs> i've been taking a glue bath okay now then just take your paper towel and just want to go around the edges where we put the glue. Open it up. Then we do the same thing. Okay, so that page, that side is done. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, now turn it over. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. After you make so many of these, you kind of know what you're doing. So what I like to do is I have a stack of the pages um, on, my, by, on my couch. And so when I'm watching TV, I'm sitting there gluing all of the little reinforcement paper onto the page. So I did that the other evening. And then today was come into the craft room and glue all the little borders to the top. And then glue on all the little journaling papers. So it's enjoyable, it's relaxing something I look forward to doing. And you take your time with it. You know, there's no rush, there's no deadline. So I don't put any pressure on myself. I just take my time. And usually I have music playing. So there's some really nice um, instrumental music that I daughter introduced me to here on YouTube. And uh, so while I'm doing these, I can put that on to play. Some of them are like for sleeping, you know, so rain. I don't put that one on when I'm trying to craft. <laughs> Although 
guys, I'd be sleeping in two seconds. Okay, so now you can see you could either put it here on this side or I can put it here on this side and then it would be opened up like that. But I don't know why, for, for whatever reason, I just was, I kept the folded one on this side since I did it on the other side. It just kind of fell into place like that, but it doesn't matter. It's going to work either way. So I hope that my videos are inspiring you. I hope you're learning some, you know, new techniques that you can use in your crafting, whether you're use, going to make an altered book or if you're going to do something else. Um, so I just hope my techniques and what I'm showing you are inspiring you and unlocking your creativity because that's the aim of my videos is to give you inspiration and to unlock your creativity. And if that is what you're finding, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, join my little creative community here, and follow me on Instagram. Visit me by joining my mailing list. All those kind of good things. So you see how quick and easy it was to make that journaling page. So I'm going to add this one here and then I will continue with these. I like this paper here with this border. And the others, if you noticed, I was using the floral borders. So I'm thinking that I'm going to incorporate this one over here on this side, since all of these have the floral borders. And then these two going forward, I will print out more of my ledger paper and I'm going to continue doing the reinforcement page papers with that. I just like the uniformity of it. I think that is really nice, sticking with a certain theme, you know what I'm saying? So I like that. And I really am liking how this looks together. Oh, look at how this looks. So this, this is another part of the same kind of different ledger page. And then here's a different one. I had several different styles. But look at that. Look at how nice that looks together on the top and the side. I really like that. Yes, so this is this is looking really good. It's coming together very nicely. I'm just tickled pink with it. I can't wait to keep filling up the pages, making more pages. Okay, so we made the envelope pocket. So I um, showed you how to do that. That was with the birds. Where did it go here? Okay. So this was from a junk mail envelope or just a legal envelope if you don't have a junk mail envelope, but who doesn't have junk mail envelopes? I mean, come on. <laughs> We're bombarded with them, aren't we? Or even if it's not junk mail envelope, but bills that come in the mail, they have envelopes usually to, to pay, even when we pay online, which I don't understand that, but anyway. Um, so we made the double pocket with the junk mail envelope. I showed you how to make the journal tags and the pockets on that page. Okay, so the next page we're going to embellish. Okay, so I showed you the pocket page here, the little flip out style here. And so now I'm gonna show you another technique in the next video. So I hope you will come back and watch and find out what that is so that you can have more inspiration and more <clears throat> ideas, give you more ideas and help unlock your creativity even more as I continue in this altered book binder journal. And I love doing the mixed media, so it's going to be obviously all the projects I'm showing you are mixed media style. So it's going to be something along the lines with mixed media and you'll have to come back and see what it is. It's going to be fun. It's going to be easy and it's going to be so pretty so I hope that um, you will come back and watch so please if you are enjoying my videos please hit the like button that really helps me to get found in search and YouTube will show it to more people and then leave me a comment just so that I know that you were here because <laughs> liking it doesn't tell me who was here and um, sharing it that would that would be really really nice I would really love that as well 
So thank you for being here with me today. Stay safe, keep creating in the sunshine, and I will be with you in the next video as we continue to embellish our journal pages. And I'm going to show you another mixed media technique that we're going to use that will make the page so pretty. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.